Right, let's kick off the show. First with us is the Irish country music star who, after more than 40 years in showbiz, continues to sell out venues around the world. Before we say hello, here's a listen to the title track of her brand new album, The Older I Get. The older I get The more I think You only get a minute you Better live while you're in it Cos it's gone in a blink It's the people you love, not the money and stuff that makes you rich. It's gorgeous. Please welcome Susan McCann. <laughs> oh, my gorgeous. God. Looking back at all that, where did those years go to? Oh, my God. Your mum and dad's in that. They are. That's mum and dad washing her in the kitchen one night that a few in them. <laughs> a few ice creams. <laughs> they take the tequila from your house. We used to, we used to party a lot in our house years ago. Yeah. We used to party a lot. And and we saw Mom and Dad were part of their wee dance, the mm. two of them together. And we yeah. saw you in your communion outfit too. Yeah, we did. That was my confirmation outfit, actually. Oh, confirmation? Yeah, you used part. to dress up for confirmation that time. Ah. That was my, my late sister, Carmen, and I, yeah. Um, ah. we, I think I, I was about 11 when I made my... But confirmation was different that time. We only made it every three or four years yes. or something. Yes. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't remember that, mind you. <laughs> but, but looking back and getting but, all those photos together, was, like, did it make you really happy or, or were, you, were there tears? Yeah, well, it's not, you know, yeah, I suppose maybe a tear or two now yeah. and then when you, when you look back, especially when, you know, there were eight of us and there's only five of us left now. So, you know, when you, when you, look, when you look back at the photographs and say, God, times then when, yeah. you know, when we were all together yeah. and yeah. mum and dad were living. But you look, at that's, that's life. And, it goes by in know. the blink of an eye. Yeah, my dad died when I was only 30, 33. Like, yeah, yeah, very young. Mum, I, mum she, she lived, she was 86, so... Yeah. She was a good age. She was a right, a right one. She was still <laughs> dancing around the living room. Fair she was later. <laughs> Fair play to her. <laughs> listen, she loved the course, crack. The, re the reason the album is out is because, you know, the, the fans older want... I get. The older I get, Mark. The fans want more. They do. Well, that's... Uh, yeah. Well, it's, it's been a while for me I took a new album out. And this is a compilation of, of um, songs that I recorded, like, way back years ago in Nashville that are that have been deleted of albums and all that at the stage of the game. And people were looking for them, couldn't get them, so we put them all together. You know, with this new digital thing you can do now, you can you can freshen up old songs. Remaster yeah. them, yeah. So we remastered some of the old ones and I recorded some some new ones. Okay. It, so it's a 30-track album, uh, and as I say, called The Older I Get. But and, and good value for money then if there's thirty it, songs. Yeah. But of course we're at, it, at an age where people will download their music now rather than. This is the thing you see that you don't sell CDs like like you used to sell them years ago. Well, when we was talk about it was albums as you know when the yeah. eight track and four track tapes years ago, but it's all downloads now. I would sell more. and My record company tells me that I'd sell more downloads now than I would uh, CDs. Yeah. You know, okay. I'd sell CDs at. The venues. Oh, at the venues yeah, and everything yeah. like that. Yeah, but it's all you different know. these days. So you're getting a bigger reach around the world because... Well, this is it. This is it. Sure, it's great. I mean, I know... I, I sometimes say I don't like the world we live in any, anymore, but, you know, you have to move with the times, and it's great. You, we get, we get uh, you know, people writing to us and from all over the world, you know, that have, have downloaded my... My material, yeah. you know, and that are so. discovering you for the yeah. first time. For the first it's time, you think I was a young one. <laughs> You've like, 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 <laughs> like, you still look like a young one. So, oh, well, so I do my best, Martin. I do my best. We, we, we were chatting before we went to air, yeah. right? and because we were talking it's about how, 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 yeah, uh, how things have changed. Yeah, and you told us a great story about mm, from the start of your career, and you were on your way to do a gig in Longford, <laughs> That's right. and you picked up two hitchhikers I along the way, which we of course people wouldn't do anymore. No, you would not, and I wouldn't advise anybody to do it, but. Uh, years ago, when I was on the road, I'd be driving my own. That's what we were talking about. I'd take the car because my kids were very young at the time. And, like Brendan was only three when I started, and Linda was what a year and a half too. And and uh, so I used to right drive my own because then I used to go in the van with the boys, and I'd be in, stay as long as I could at home with the kids. But so I was going to Longford one Friday night, and I lifted these two boys outside Monaghan. They were at the college that the agricultural college yeah. in Monaghan. So I lifted them and crack was good going over the road. And I had Big Tom still the king out at, at the time. Now, this was back in 77. And these, you know, the young fellas, and I, I, would, I don't know what age it was, it was in my, 20, my late 20s. And, and uh, the, the, these two, they're sitting in the car, the crack was good. And I said, where are you going tonight, boys? And they said, we're going to a disco in Longford. And I said, all oh, right, right. 
And uh, so, so I said, uh, what about the Longford Arms? Do you, do you go to the... No, I'm not going to the Longford. Susan McCann's there. Who'd want it? Big Tom still the king? <laughs> 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 and I said, all oh, right, right, right. So I, I drove on, we chatted away, and we were going to the disco, and the next thing we get to the car. And I said, boys, it was lovely to meet you. And by the way, I am Susan. Susan McCann. Well, your man near <laughs> the <died>. face. He <laughs> nearly did. <laughs> but they came into the dance that night, they came into the dance, they came up to me, and but was the best to crack, you know? Yeah. And came to see me after, when I'd played the Longford Arms after that, they'd come back and. I was about to say, lifelong fans. All the way. They were like, Jesus, I'm never going <laughs> to live this mortification down. Go buy all the albums, get it done. <laughs> but like but this... it was so funny, you know. Was... But at the time, we were just saying you'd lift uh, to anybody somewhere Bring along people. the road. Yeah. Yeah. How times have changed. Well, you won't be doing that because I know you are going out on tour later on this yeah, year. Yeah. I'm sure the two lads will be there as well when you <laughs> go to Longford. <laughs> but, but what's the tour going to be like? Is it going to be a bit of a retrospective well, because you're playing older songs again? Yeah. Well, no, well, I never really did change my repertoire that much yeah. because when, when people people know you for the songs that you were that you, that made you that you were famous for, you know. Yeah. And and now I, I take I take one of my granddaughters with me now. She she sings along with me as well. So it's really I, it's not there's no, there's no great change. I've called the the tour the String of Diamonds tour because of an album that I had. Yes. Called the String of Diamonds which was very successful. So I've just followed it through. There's no big change really. You know, we we do we have, we use screens and I I have all the old footage that's of me up over the years, Fab. sort of thing. So it's a nice show, you know. Well, you mentioned that you bring your granddaughter along now. You're the grandmother of five children, but you I'm obviously have a favourite. I bring... I bring <laughs> because you only bring Sinead along with you, oh, no, isn't no, that no, it? I tell you, I have jobs for them all. Oh, you got jobs she, for them yeah, all, right. Laura, Emma and Josh, they sell, they sell me CDs. Yeah. And they get commissioned for it. So it's a family so affair? Think, oh, absolutely. How did Sinead start singing with you? How did that come about? Well, Sinead started... How did it come about? I suppose she... she she need show you'll, signs you'll of singing. The other two wouldn't let her sell CDs. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's right. She needs. She she was shown signs of music from a very early age, and then her granddad plays the accordion, and she she got a, like a wee toy accordion for Christmas one year, and from that she seemed to. And then she was up in. The, we have a studio at home that we. The dentist was a bit of editing and that, and uh, I used at the time I was in the radio, and. Um, she was up in the one day, she was singing along with me, and I didn't hear this, Dennis did. She was singing harmony to all my songs when he was playing. Oh. And I didn't know, we didn't know she could sing harmony. So I was going to record one of my songs, and I took her into the studio with me to sing the harmony. And, and she, she, I was, she, she blew me away, I didn't realise she could sing. She had it. She had, she's a very natural harmony singer. And cheap labour as well. She's crazy. <laughs> Mate's family race. She's not so cheap, I'll have you know. She's not so cheap. <laughs> uh, of course, and she's also got the added bonus of having you and Dennis as mentors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. It, yeah. It, it is... I, don't, I don't know whether she'll, she'll... I know she'll continue on with music. My, my daughter, Linda, she, she's head of music in the Sacred Heart Grammar School and she encourages her piano-wise to, yeah. you know, to whatever she... But I, I don't know whether she'll continue singing or not, but... She definitely will do something in music, teach or something. You know, she mm. loves it. She what what kind of advice? Her life would, is music. Yeah. yeah. What kind of advice would you give to people who were starting out in the business? Well, it's hard business now. It's hard business for any girl now, really. Uh, hard, much harder than when I started, because there were so many venues in Ireland. Whenever I started, there was a venue in every town, land in Ireland, really. But now it's there. There's not so many, and I suppose you know you have to love what you do. You know, if you didn't, it's mm. hard work, you know, traveling and... But at the end, of, you know, I still love singing. But I don't know whether I love traveling as much as I do. See, this is <laughs> no, the thing. But... You've been involved in this to have a career for over 40 years doing yeah. what you love. And then I suppose the touring is the, is the, is the tough one. You're yeah. turning 70, you know, soon. Oh, and... I am. I'm turning 71. 71. Turning 71. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> turning 71. Would you ever yeah. put the feet up or are you like, do you know what? I still love doing this. Well, I love I love singing, but I, I wouldn't want to be back working now every week or. With it, but picking I picking up lads who are slagging your songs. No, no, cars, no. slagging me, slagging me songs. Right? Yeah. No, but I, I do enjoy singing, and I enjoy doing what I do now. I enjoy um, like working when I want to work, and but I, and I can I can also spend time with my grandkids. That because I missed out on my own growing up, really. Yeah. So it's nice to have them. They come in from school every day to me, and I live in the in Yuri and the schools are all around me, so it's great, really. I, I'm enjoying life now. 
Where, and, but I, I, when I enjoyed doing what I did, I wouldn't be fit to do what I did years ago. Yeah, it's, it, but it's tough going. I know, it's 71. Tough going. I, I, I need to sleep. Yeah. You're, not, you're not 71, you're celebrating the 50th anniversary of your 21st. Is that, oh, is that's that what, it? Is that, that, that's, 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 that's what, that's what we're doing. Very good. Take it, take it. That's a nice way of putting it. That's it, Martin. just keep that's on nice doing that now. It. Uh, it's time for a very quick break, but up next we'll be chatting to blogger and TV presenter Claire Fulham, a.k.a. Claire Balding. Uh, keep sending in your comments and questions and your party pieces. We want to know about them. We're nosy. What's up us on 0833 60 60 60? And we'll see you right after this. So, like Susan, you're on stage with, with your husband. He's your for, manager. For, for, uh, yeah. So, for... so do you recommend us? <laughs> <laughs> At times, yeah. <laughs> that was the I most pregnant pause I've We've ever been... seen on this show. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, Dennis and I have been together since we were 16. Wow. Um, and he took over managing me, I'm sure, about 25 years ago. My goodness. So, yeah, and the two, well, he's music, he's the musical director and all, you know, so we do. There he's there on the screen. You see Aww. that? Um, yeah, so we we, we we get on good, really. But, but then we have so much in common that, right. you know, yeah. it, which make, it makes it easy. Because, yeah. you know, sometimes you talk about the business too much, that's the only thing. You know, you, you'd, you'd say, I wish to God we could get away from it for a while, but yeah. you don't. But, you know. but, but there is one thing that you do hold against him, uh, and that's <laughs> the title he gave you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, caught, he was he, the one that came up. He was up the with one that came up with Ireland's first lady, and I said I never forgave him for it. <laughs> <laughs> like that and, uh, title. Yeah, like well, I mean, <laughs> some, uh, you know, the girl that or, um, Susie when she was on to me the other day, you know, but she said Susie's you know, our how, researcher. Yes. How, our researcher. She said, "How did you get that name?" I said, "I don't know." <laughs> My husband gave it to me. I said, "Why he ever gave it to me? I do not know." <laughs> but that was another gimmick, you know, another. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's queens and there's princesses and there's all sorts. So he decided to call me Ireland's first lady. And you know what's stuck? Because every, yeah. every time I'm in the Yeah. Is that how you refer to at home? Does Dennis refer to you as that at home? No, I'm referred to different <laughs> Very <laughs> different ways. Very different ways. So, and we couldn't, we couldn't let on what I'm referred to at home. <laughs> I think people can maybe guess. Yeah. Because we can't say it right now. Um,